everybody out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to The Horror, The Horror with your host, Jenna. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about another movie, actually a movie that I just received yesterday in my DVD horror pack. And that movie that I shall be discussing today is Detention. Um, now I have to say, um... I really was not a big fan of this movie. I really wasn't. Um, and the thing is, is here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want to like this movie. I really do. Uh, I'll give it credit. It is actually kind of funny. But I don't know. It just wasn't that great. Um, it definitely is... Um, very much more along the lines of, like, I kept thinking, the movie that I kept thinking of was that one of those, like, spoof movies, uh, a specific one which was called, I th believe it's called I Know What You Did Last Friday the 13th, uh, starring, like, uh, Tom Arnold, Tiffany Amber Thiessen was in it. Um, you know, nothing wrong with, like, those types of movies uh, or, like, the... Uh, I was going to say Scream, not Scream, Scary Movie. Very just kind of like offbeat, but not quite as silly. Uh, it's still very silly, but not as silly as those movies. Um, and uh, don't get me wrong, I don't mind watching those movie one movies once in a while. I mean, they get a little redundant after a while. But for a good, cheap little laugh, I don't mind checking those out. But for me, I just... I wasn't a big, big fan of it. Like I said, I wanna, I wanna like this movie. I wanna like it, but I, to me, I just felt like they were trying too hard. Like I feel like every line that was written, they were trying to make it like a quotable line. Um, and when I say like a quotable line, like some of the lines that I'm thinking of that like I love and I quote all the time are, uh, like from sleepaway camp where the kids are in the baseball field and uh the one older kid says eat should die eat shit and die ricky and ricky replies back eat shit and live bill or um like the movies the the, the movies the movie the warriors uh like the clinking of the bottles and the guys coming out going warriors come out to play like those, those types of lines like when I say a quotable line like that's usually what I'm thinking of like you know lines that I instantly think of that I'm always kind of like spouting out um and I'm sure all of you guys have like your own little quotable lines that you love from movies we all do but no this one just I just didn't enjoy it that much and secondly too um, I know technically this does fall under the horror genre, horror comedy, but I definitely don't, in my personal opinion, I know I might get some uh, heat for this, but keep in mind it's just my own personal opinion, that I just don't even consider this really like a horror movie. And I know that's bad to say because there are horror elements in it, but I just feel like, like it's more of a, a slapstick comedy almost, a little bit of satire. Um, and I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with, uh, with lots of humor, with a little bit of, like, horror thrown into it. I just, I wasn't, I wasn't a fan of it. I really wasn't. Uh, pretty disappointed. Uh, I'm not disappointed in Horror Pack for sending it to me. I'm actually glad they sent it to me because I know this is gonna, this would be one of those movies where if I came across on my own, picked it up, spent like money on it the five or six bucks or whatever alone on it or I don't even know how much this is honestly uh I'm just assuming it's like five or six bucks I don't even know um if everyone knows feel free to share how much this is because I don't even know uh but if I actually like went out saw this on a shelf somewhere spent the money on it and then watched it I really would have been like really I just spent money on this but no, I'm, I'm glad, like I said, I'm glad that Horror Pack sent this to me. Let me uh, check that out. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not salty at them. Like I said, I'm glad Horror Pack sent it to me, but I just, I wasn't a big fan. Really wasn't. Um, I mean, who knows? I mean, I could see myself maybe just like popping in um, 
here and there just be like, eh, I just want something goofy. But yeah, like I said, it's definitely not one that I would run to be like, oh, I need to watch this. I need to watch this. It just, it kind of is what it is. Just very goofy movie. Um, I mean, a couple parts were kind of funny, but you know, after like a minute of like constant, like little like running jokes, it, it gets a little tiresome. And then it's like they start with like a new running gag and then it's like okay it gets old pretty quickly at least for me like I said at least for me it's just I was getting a little like with some of the humor and I mean I know it's a comedy I know there's supposed to be lots of humor in it nothing wrong with that but I just and then there's like um some little like time travel and stuff too and I was like like, I just, I felt like there was just too much going on in this movie that didn't need to be going on. It just, and I feel like it was trying to be somewhat, um, somewhat, like, scream a little bit where it's, like, goes through, like, some of the rules and stuff. Um, like I said, it's, you know, I know this is kind of, like, one of those, like, satire type movies where it's kind of sort of vaguely ragging on, like, other horror movies a little bit like I kind of get that but to me I just feel like it wasn't really done efficiently um it just yeah I just I wasn't really happy with it um you know you know um I mean I, I would love to hear like what everyone else thinks you know who else actually who might have actually enjoyed this uh and I would love to know why you love it uh like I mean if you guys love this movie I ain't gonna hate you for it. I'm not gonna troll you. I really am not. Um, and plus two, like, detention. Um, like, literally, like, the kids are in detention, I think, a total of, like, maybe ten minutes in this movie, and it's kind of like... Like, I remember, um, I think I may have brought this up in my unboxing video. Um, detention of the Dead or something. Uh, which is another movie that I've seen and I'm not a big fan of, but at least that movie, like, pretty much the entire movie was based around attention. Like, this, though, getting a movie and it's just all these teens kind of getting into, like, shenanigans and stuff and, like, whatever. And then only, like, ten minutes of it, these kids are actually in detention like I would expect a movie entitled detention to be mainly at least three quarters of the movie or at least half the movie I would say either a half or three quarters of the movie I would have been happy with at least getting that much in detention but not 10 minutes but whatever like I don't know I just I don't get this movie I really don't maybe it's just that why I don't like it is because I don't get it I'm like I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll watch it again one day, a few months down the line, be like, okay. Okay, I get it. All right, I kind of came around. But just initial viewing, I didn't like it. Didn't like it. Mm -mm. Uh, so a little disappointing. But you know what? It happens. It happens. You know, I'm not going to like every movie that Horror Pack sends me, but I always appreciate them sending me stuff. Uh, even if I don't like it like this, ain't going to be hating. That's why I sign up, you know? Uh, but yeah, so that's my just my quick little take on this, on uh, detention. Like I said, let me know uh, what you guys think of this. If you guys liked it or didn't like it. Where's my thumb? There. Doo -doo -doo. E I don't know why I'm doing that, sorry. Uh, but no, I just let me know if you guys liked it or didn't like it. Um, if you guys did like it, like I said, I'm not going to troll you guys on it. I respect your guys' opinion on stuff. Um, and uh, it's my little take on it. So anyway, um, you guys have a great rest of your night. And as always, you guys stay creepy and classy and little bit sassy. Anyway, you guys have a great night. See you next time.